welcome back to Norfolk. Thank you. Uh, what is it that's brought you to Kingsden and, and how did you to be here? Well, it's the project really is uh, after speaking with Stephen uh, numerous on occasions, it's uh, the ambition of the football club. It's very, very attractive. Uh, the area that I know very, very well, I've had good success here um, in Norfolk, coaching and playing. And it was the whole package really, the whole package to actually come back and have an input and the chance to be a number one uh, in an area that as a fantastic catchment area and I can see really good t good things for this football club I really can if we can really it's got a lot of legs and we just want to ride it as far as we can. Uh, being a manager so being the number one is that something you've wanted for quite a while? Yes yeah it, it always has been a bit of an ambition of mine um, to be the actual one I've had jobs that I've made a lot of calls but not actually put my head above the parapet uh, so now there's a chance to really go to the forefront and show people. Mr Chairman, I think the same to you. How pleased are you to get, to get in here? Oh, delighted. I mean, if you speak to guys in the game, they tell you he's not just a good coach, he's, he's the, the, the best coach that they worked, that they worked under. Uh, so Ian's got great coaching abilities, it, 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 you know, without doubt, his, his managerial potential, I think, is huge. Yeah? And, and not just that, I think we can build a, a football club together. Um, the, the, blue, the blueprint, you know, it's a blank canvas, and Ian's uh, got a blank canvas to, to, work, to work under, you know, to, to, to put things together. And Ian's, Ian's passionate about football and passionate about um, you know, growing, growing, um, growing the club and putting in the various structures, etc. So there couldn't be a better, a, better, a, better, a better man to take it forward. Obviously, you spent a long time in North Korea, a long, illustrious Norwich career. How much did the actual area, the sort of geography of the area, had any impact on the decision as well? Oh, it was a massive appeal to me. Um, the scope for recruitment uh, is massive. Um, my remit is to get out to watch as many local games as possible. I want young, hungry players at this football club to drive it forward. Uh, obviously, the contacts that I've got in the game will be massive to us as well when need be. Uh, but it's an area that's really, you look at it, it's only got one major big club in it. And this is this is the next one after, after Norwich. So uh, as long as we can get the pull and get the thing on the right direction, I think it's going to be a, a great journey. Still got a few friends in Norwich. You make a few calls. Yeah, there's a few different faces there, I know. But uh, no, I've still got a few friends that uh, I know really well, and uh, I could be uh, on the phone shortly. <laughs> okay. um, you're obviously sort of linked with Paul Lambert and the success that he had in Norwich um, and, and the clubs before that. How much did you learn from Paul? Who, um, you know, sort of, sort of building his reputation back up after a little bit. Yes, it was, uh, it was um, working with Paul as I did for nine years. Uh, it was very sour how it ended. Um, I can't go into that, unfortunately. But uh, it's one of those things that when you look back, what a journey it was. And uh, we worked well together. Um, uh, me and Paul, or Paul and I, and, and then with Gary Carter as well, it was a good little combination. Uh, and you look back at it, real fond memories, yes. The three of you, as you say, were sort of a bit of a triumvirate. Do you know about your sort of coaching staff and stuff yet? Have you been able to think about being like to have you here? No, no, no. I've, got, I've come in on my own. I'm just going to, um, I've got 11 games to look at it, uh, assess the squad, uh, assess what's needed in the summer. Um, try and put a, uh, a scouting structure together so we can go out and watch as many games as possible from now to the end of the season. I know, speaking to Stephen, there's certain um, targets already been put in place for the summer. Um, so, but no, it'll be just coming in on my own and working with what's here at the moment. You mentioned Villa there, I appreciate you can't go into details of what happened, but do you feel like this is sort of a chance for you to sort of uh, as you said, put your head back above the parapet, sort of almost get yourself going in the, in the game again. Because uh, as a number two of that, I suppose it wasn't a particularly high profile position. You, you're looking to sort of not, not rebuild your reputation because you've got a big reputation as a player and a coach, but you feel like there's maybe a bit of sort of PR work to do then perhaps? Well, there is. I mean, uh, what came out of Norwich wasn't nice. Uh, uh, sorry, Villa wasn't nice. Um, so now is a chance now to put things right. Uh, it's it's a great, great opportunity for me to, to, to actually show people what I can do.
and I'll be, I'm grateful for Stephen for giving me that opportunity. Okay, so these last nine games of the season, what, what do you sort of say to the players who are already here? Is it just the case of impression? No, we've got build momentum. I mean, I know they've gone uh, eight games now undefeated, so it's, it's building nicely. Um, we've probably drawn too many games if hand on heart and uh, I think Gary's the first to admit that um, and he's done a fantastic job for six years at this football club, he really has uh, and full credit to him, I'm sure he won't be out of the game long um, but now to the end of the season it's analysing the squad, uh, every player will get a chance, what's gone is gone uh, so everyone, everyone will get playing opportunity for me and then it's just assessing what we do need to make it a, a challenge next year because this club has to challenge next year, it's very, very important.